Hey, this is Tristan at Hip Cooks and we are in West Los Angeles. Today I'm going to show you how to make beef tenderloin. So I have my piece of beef tenderloin here. Um, this is the same part of the cow that you get filet mignon. The difference is this filet mignon is going to be a thicker cut and most often just this rounded bit here. So uh, you might see that name interchanged. And just to let you know, they're the same thing. So, piece of meat, I brought it to room temperature. Anytime you're cooking red meat or white meat, chicken or pork, bring it to room temperature before you do the sauteing or before it goes into the oven. And that will just ensure that you get even cooking throughout. All right, so basic salt and pepper. Really with meat, I don't wanna, I personally don't wanna put too much seasoning on because I want the flavor of the meat to come through. So I'm just gonna do a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper. Okay, that's ready. I've got my pan over here with butter and olive oil. And I put some tin foil on the pan because I just wanna quick sear this meat so it's on pretty high heat. And then I'm gonna toss it in the oven to finish for a few minutes. So this tin foil is just helping to protect my hand. All right, let's see. Check and make sure it sizzles. It's sizzling. Throw your meat on. On high heat. And the idea here is to just quickly sear and create a quick crust around the outside of the meat so that it, when it goes into the oven, it holds and retains all of its juices. Okay. So I can see that it's nice and brown, which is good. It'll create a nice little crust. I'm just gonna dab up a little bit of this extra oil in here because I don't want it to scald and burn in the oven. But grit yourself some paper towels. Well, guess what I realized? I was sauteing my steak in a pan that is non-stick. And that's fine for sauteing, but I don't wanna put that in the oven. So I need to just get another little pan that can safely go into the oven. So do keep that in mind. If you have non-stick pans with that extra coating, do not put that in the oven. All right, so. Put a little added olive oil, and now this is ready to pop into the oven at 375 for a couple of minutes. We can st still see when we push down on that meat that it's still really rare inside. So we have the nice crust now, we wanna finish it in the oven. Okay, the beef tenderloin has been in for about eight minutes, four minutes per side, and I like to cook mine medium rare to rare. So I'm gonna pull it out and show you what I got. Puffed up a little bit, all right. So you can tell by pushing on the meat how well done it is. You can see that this one's still pretty squishy. And so that's a good sign that I'm sitting in about medium rare. And this is a really good and quick way to tell how well done the meat is. So when you first buy meat, give it a push to see how squishy it is, and obviously that's rare. And the more cooked the meat becomes, the firmer the meat will be. So this is done how I like it, medium rare. And I will let it sit for about five minutes before I eat it. Ouch, hot. Tin foil works, but not completely. Okay, so give it five minutes and then dig in. And that's how to make beef tenderloin. Enjoy. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to see me prepare any other recipes, please send an email to requestatmahalo.com. And in the meantime, check out our other awesome videos.